Hello and welcome to this course titled Objects and Prototypes in Depth. This course is going to cover concepts related to object-oriented programming in JavaScript. As you must be aware, JavaScript is an object-oriented programming language. You can use objects and the concepts around objects to build uh, objects in your code and solve problems using the object-oriented paradigm. So there are multiple ways in which you can create objects. We're going to look at some of the different ways in this course. Uh, we have the concept of constructors in JavaScript, which is kind of different from the traditional model of constructors that you might encounter in C++ or Java languages. We're also going to look at multiple ways in which you can execute functions and how it affects the execution of the function itself, including what the this reference points to. This reference is actually a fairly confusing concept in JavaScript and uh, we're going to look at the multiple different values, possible values that the this reference could have and hopefully after going through this course what JavaScript does will make more sense. And then finally we're going to look at prototypes in JavaScript which is yet another confusing concept that a lot of people kind of postpone learning and try to get their JavaScript work done without having an understanding of but knowing and understanding prototypes is actually going to significantly enhance the tools that you have at your disposal when you're writing JavaScript code. So we'll understand what prototypes are and how it lets you build objects based on a particular template. JavaScript does not have the concept of classes. There are shortcuts which let you build something that resemble classes, but in the core language itself, there's no concept of a class that you would typically expect from a language like C++ or Java. However, prototypes have features which let you build things that you could typically build with classes. So we're going to understand what prototypes are and how you can modify a prototype to get the behavior of a, like a blueprint for classes and then create objects which follow a particular blueprint. But then finally, we're going to write some code which uses all the concepts that we have learned in this course. And hopefully that will cement the understanding of these concepts in your mind. So thanks again for deciding to take this course. I'm Kaushik Kotagal and this course is JavaScript Objects and Prototypes in Depth. See you in the next video.